play stars, current and future stars on opposite teams in this big time six man tag team. Lucha Libre special attraction. KG Torres, a part of this matchup, teaming up with the likes of El Trialor and Golden Dragon, multiple time tag team champions, current tag team champions in the local area of Chicagoland, Lucha Scene. Long-time reigning and defending Elmix champion, Scott A. Jr. And a bit of a shoving down here as all six of these Rudos are going to probably cause the roof of this building to go everywhere, up, up and away. The bell is sounded. We have action. Scott A. Jr. from... The own from the Rebellion, all makes champion. Trained very hard under Professor Skyday, Skyday Senior from Del Barrio del Tepito in Mexico. Is back in the ring after some setbacks, some illnesses, some anxiety, but he is back for more action. And the fans are very opinionated about what they think about the participants in this one. One fall six man tag team. An effect for this. Sky Day Jr., the master of a number of suplex variations. But Bobalero Star will begin all the action here. Roots in Puerto Rico and training in Zacatecas, Mexico as well. One of the fastest rising high flying luchadors of this or any other era. Along with standing feud with one of his tag team partners, Sky Day Jr., in particular. And Indeed, the trek for Bonolero Star to get to this point has been a challenging one, but he's overcome the odds even though he lost Mass versus Mass Man against his tag team partner. He's gone on to bigger and better things traveling the world, wrestling in all parts of the country, one of the most impressive, chaotic, insane high flyers in this scene. And he is a crazy risk taker who will darn near take quite a jump off any object on earth in order to score an advantage. And on the ground, the grappling between these two has started off very, very quickly. As no particular individual scored a definitive advantage. A man, Bonal Aerostar, known for a high flying Spanish fly, a Topi Con Hilo. Number of moonsault variations and flying attacks. Himself, Scott A. Jr., and that bruiser, that bully, Imperiots take a what a heavyweight fortress he is. Multiple time heavyweight champion in his own right. Got a lot of crazy combustible elements here earlier in this night. A battle between Atomico Jr. and Atomico Sr. entered it under questionable circumstances in particular. And Kevin Ultra doing the best he can to acknowledge the fact only one member of each team is allowed in the ring at a time. Well, who is that chant directed towards? Is that directed towards the new generation of Lucha Libre stars, stars or the current generation that ruled the scene in La Revolucion? Side Edward going to take over by KG Torres on Bottle Arrow Star. And here we go. A cheap shot, and now the reinforcements with a stare down from afar. The new generation of Lucha Libre. Six man explosion. Forget the rules. We're going to go crazy in this house for Midwest Wrestling as it presents Lucha Libre. Everything's going awry. The exits of the crowd. Clippers to the post. Who's going to drag a courtesy of Sky Day Jr.? some damage but cannot finish him off. In the ring, Bonolero Star. The legal participant. Who has been in a number of wars against Trilor and Golden Dragon in recent years. 
And now all of the members of La Revolution are in the match at exactly the same time to do damage as the Bully of the Ring with the drop down and the misdirection. Look at this. The trio with a nice combination of moves and strikes and synergy have wiped out Troy Thor in the ring. And there's no help in sight. Double team pickup by Imperial and Scotty Jr. as they slam Bondolero Star on top. On the fall and Ultra Ray Lord right here. Scotty Jr., the team captain at this moment, is driving the machine that is the Rudos in this one. Exciting, authentic, Lucha Libre, multiple man tag team explosion, but with the one fall stipulation, it is a sudden death environment. You gotta win, and you gotta win convincingly in this struggle. Cutting off take over the chop to Tri-Lord. As Tri-Lord is sent into the fire court, as both Scotty Jr. and Bonalero start tripped up. Tri they crushed him on the ring post, and an Imperial follows in with a baseball slide drop kick right to the head. First time in for Golden Dragon from Osaka, Japan, who is now the recipient of potentially a three on one mugging at the hands of the Revolution in this Lucha Libre match. To the ropes. Down goes Golden Dragon. Neck cranking, submission applied. And then the kicks at the same time in tandem. Nearly break the nose of Golden Dragon. I don't think there's any sort of weakness in these three thus far. They have ruled the ring and they're taunting the opposition. Drop kick and everybody's about to fall, including Bonalero in the arms of Imperios Take him. Watch out! Oh my! Backwards over the top to the floor goes Bonalero Star. He could have landed on his head. Oh, that was terrible. What a nasty fall. And now we've got a bit of a slugfest, but that will be dominated very quickly by Imperios Take him. KG Torres dropped him to his knee with that quick drop kick, quick thinking by KG Torres, the smaller of the two thus far in this particular moment of the match. KG Torres with a flying dive on the floor. He landed upon a couple of seats in the first row on the right hand side. All sorts of action on standstill here. Some of the best of the last decade plus of Lucha Libre and Bonalero Star Sky Day Jr. and Imperial's Taker trying to roll and dominate the ring against the new generation of stars. KG Torres, Trilor, and Golden Dragon in this six-man tag team explosion. Golden Dragon with a forearm, a close line by Trilor. They have tripped up Bonalero Star. Has everyone run? from both sides of the head. Location disoriented by Tri-Lord and Golden Dragon and Bonalero Star, they almost put him away right there. I am shocked that Bonalero Star isn't out for the count after the terrible fall he suffered earlier in this match. Upside down, proverbial trio of woes. Scotty Jr. with nowhere to go. He sat up, Golden Dragon missed, took a fall to the outside. Sliding attack by Tri-Lord, he missed everything. Scotty Jr. firing back. For one corner and next. Up and over. Scotty Jr. holds on. Back body drop. Watch out. Oh, he caught himself. What a hit scissors. What innovation. But KG Torres with a cheap shot. Put Scotty Jr. down on the outside. And Torres runs in with a number of back elbow smashes. KG Torres trying to prove that he can hold up to his part of the bargain in this multiple man match. Big high arcing backsplash by KG Torres in this six man tag team battle. And will Torres be the first to take a major risk? There have been a lot of crazy attacks in this one already. A lot of amazing innovation. But KG Torres very confident. Torres tries to go immediately and a beautiful leg sweeping DDT drop. About a little star now moving and Imperial breaks up the count. Plainly breaking the rules to 
to save his team in this match is Imperial Azteca. Power Bob on the way. Reset down on it. And he kicked out. KG Torres almost finished off right there by Imperial Azteca. Ducks the double clothesline to Scotty Jr. Both Lola Dragon and Trilor tumble over the top to the outside, but they both landed on their feet. And Scotty Jr. trying to dive, but the brothers caught them. Right to that side beam supporting the ring post on the near side. Hard wrenching action here. High flyers. Crazy risk takers. Innovative offense. Technical skill being administered by all of those in this match. Toe to toe. Troy Lord. Gondolero star. Trying to chop the heck out of each other. Taking him out and knocking him for a loop. And look at this. Golden Dre with a death drop on a bottle arrow star. And that's it. We have winners. The new generation have dominated the rebellion, the revolution, to finish this match. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the winners. Torres, El Trailer, and Gold. Attacked him viciously after the match. 